We first saw the Porsche Mission E concept car in 2015, which was meant to preview the brand's potentially electric future. It's now been four years with countless prototypes, spy shots, and information teases, and now we are finally ready to see Porsche's first all-electric vehicle debut in production form, and it's called the Taycan. Let's check it out. Let's start from the top. This is the Taycan, and like I said, it's Porsche's first venture into all-electric vehicles. And today, they're debuting two variants of the car, the Turbo and the Turbo S. Yes, you heard me correctly. This is a car that has no gas engine, no engine components like that, and certainly no turbochargers, and yes, they're calling it the Turbo and the Turbo S. Argue amongst yourselves. But I have to say, at least it's consistent with the rest of the Porsche brand, right? I mean, you have Panamera Turbo, 911 Turbo. This makes sense, even though it's an EV. But interesting naming scheme aside, the Taycan puts down insane power figures, so let's talk about those. Here are the most important specs. Both the Turbo and the Turbo S trims use a 93 kilowatt hour battery pack, but the cars have slightly different projected range figures. Using European range standards, the Taycan Turbo can achieve up to 280 miles, while the more powerful S model is quoted up to 256 miles. As for charging, both cars use an 800 volt electrical architecture that allows a maximum charge rate of 270 kilowatts. What does that mean? Well, that's fast enough to take the battery from five to 80% in just 22 and a half minutes. Speaking of power, holy hell is there a lot of it. Both the Turbo and Turbo S variants make 616 horsepower, but engage the maximum boost launch control feature and the Turbo jumps to 671 horsepower, while the S hits an even crazier 751 horsepower. Now the fun part, zero to 60 in three seconds for the Turbo and 2.6 seconds for the Turbo S. Now Porsche claims that the Taycan is really the first EV on the market that can do acceleration runs over and over and over again without overheating. So now that we have all those numbers out of the way, let's actually talk about how the Taycan looks. And it looks really good. Clean and simple Porsche design all over this thing. There's a couple cues up front that I love. We have these headlights, which of course we've seen in prototype, uh, but no camo hiding anything. And then you have these ducts as well, which bring in air, some nice carbon fiber detailing down below. And overall, like I said, it's just clean and simple. Uh, makes sense for an EV. Now follow me along the side of the car. I also want to talk about these wheels. These look dead on to the ones we saw with that Mission E concept car that I referenced earlier. And they look sweet. You have white around the rim with black detail in the middle. This is where I'm getting most of my 911 keys. You have this sweeping roof line, and especially from the rear three quarter, it's very reminiscent of the 911, but overall the proportions are most similar to the Panamera. And you also have these door handles, which is similar to that of the 992 911. And come around to the back, the signature LED taillight, which stretches along almost the entire rear portion of the car. Um, speaking of the proportions, it's very wide, it's very low to the ground. Now, inside the Taycan, things take quite a departure from Porsches that we're used to seeing. Now, we sometimes criticize the Panamera, the Cayenne, and the Macan for having just way too many buttons in the center stack. Here, pretty much the opposite thing going on. They've ditched those long rows of buttons in place of screens. Screens pretty much everywhere. One display in front of the passenger, a huge digital display in front of the driver, uh, and then a few in the middle as well. And we haven't had a chance to play around with these too much, but this is definitely previewing some of the future products for Porsche. All right, let's talk money. The Taycan Turbo is going to start at launch at $157,310. And oh boy, the Turbo S model is $187,610 at launch. Both cars are expected to go on sale before the end of the year in December.